I'm a loving woman, Edgeter. I don't care about your mother or that ranch that's suffocating me. I'll endure everything for the man that I love, but... Tell me what. I can't share the man that I love with somebody else. There's no such thing. Every time I look in Alvan's eyes, I feel a rock in my heart, Edgeter. And it keeps getting heavier and heavier. And I'm scared that I will run out of strength. And I'm scared that I will lose you forever. I will never allow it, Nagme. Never. I am tired of your words, Edgeter. Darling, I will fix everything. Please wait a little. Please, a little more. You don't understand. You believed Elvan over me today. I felt my heart break a little bit more. I'm getting more exhausted every single day. Maybe we should separate for a little while. No way I'll do that. Let's go on home. We'll talk more there. Fine, praise be. She is better. Ah, uh, listen, Safika. Just don't ignore the girl. Do whatever she wants. Don't you worry, Mother. I am giving her lots of attention. Good. Is Ejder here? Well, it is dinner time already, but believe it or not, they are not around. Uh. Nagme, were you teaching music? No, Edgeter. You don't want me to work, do you? You never wanted it. Nagme. Am I to sit at home all day long, waiting for you to come home while I watch the children? Is that it? Of course, and I want them to. You know what? Maybe we're not the right people for each other. Maybe what I want is something you can't give me. Nagme, that's enough. Nagme! Nagme! Nagme, you are not being nice. Will you let me explain? You are not listening. You can't lock me up. I won't stay in there with those women, Edgeter. I am not going to. You are obligated to accept me the way that I am. Where are you going? I don't want to lock you up in this house. I don't want to step in that house. Nobody wants me in there. Everyone's been a stranger since the day that I came here. I'm bored and suffocated and I can't take it. What did I do? What do you want? Shall I call Barack to hire you? What do you want from me? What do you want? You want to break up? Huh? Tell me. Do you want to break up because of this? I've never even dreamed of that. But I see that you have. I have what? Now that you're asking. Not me. I didn't say that I wanted. I asked you if you do. So is it true that you want to break up? Nagme. <sighs> Take it then. Nagme, don't be silly. You take the ring and wear it. I just asked you a question. You know, you're like them as well. You don't want me here either. Nagme, marriage is not child's play. You can't return the ring and then run. Now wear the ring. Knock me! Knock me! Oh, damn it! I hope you are leaving and you are never coming back. Well, but you saw it, didn't you? She put the ring in Eshter's hand. Well, she may have taken the ring off again, but she did come back. No, Safika, they will not break up. Mm. Well, we mustn't abandon hope yet. 
Look, this time I have a good feeling. She is leaving for sure. Oh, it would be nice if they broke up before there's a child. I swear that I would have to kiss it and then give it away to the poor for some charity. Be happy. Be happy because you get your happiness from someone else's sorrows. Well, now, why are you sneaking around, Camille? You just gave us an awful fright. Leave me so easily? Leave me? I see how much you care. <clears throat> it's there? Sister? I heard everything. I'm furious, sister. So, you see what she did, right? I'm going crazy. Why does she always take off the ring? Every time that we argue, this is so childish. This is only a ring on your hand. It's not important. What is, is what's in your heart. Just don't take each other out of your hearts. Falling in love is easy. But living is hard. You plant love as if you plant seeds in the ground. You will make it the apple of your eye. You will not deny its sun, nor will you leave it thirsty. Then you will wait for it to turn green, and you will be patient, Edgedair. Be self-sacrificing. But sister... There is no but, Edgedair. There is no but. Are you in love with Nagme? I am. Then you better go after your beloved one. Go and bring her back home. Don't be defeated by your pride and lose your love. Thanks, sister. Thanks. Nagme! Nagme! Answer, Nagme, answer! Don't you think this is dragged out, Naven? How could you keep staying in a hotel like this? I wasn't at home, and so you didn't want to stay at my house. But I am back now. Come stay with me. It's almost over. I can feel it. I think Nagme's about done with this whole thing. 
Anyway, it's just madness, and I know that she did it just to spite me. It's not a real marriage. No, it can't be. And I think that we'll be leaving very soon. Okay. But you're checking out tomorrow anyway. Please don't be stubborn. It's what you really should have done in the first place. I don't want to be a burden on you, Cezanne. Burden? Did you forget? How many times have I stayed at your place? So you are going to be packing, and then you will be coming to me tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh, stop, Cezanne. Come on, Navin, will you? Hmm. My dear son-in-law, I'll answer it. It might be important. Hello? Mrs. Nevin. Edgster? Is Nagme with you? Nagme here? No. Did she call you at all? Did something happen? We had a small argument. She walked away from the ranch. I thought maybe she came to you. Nagme is not here. Oh, no, damn it. Edgster, how can you let her walk alone in the rain? What if something happens? What kind of man are you? Look, you're always following her. You always seem to be jealous and around all of the time. Why aren't you looking after her now? Where is she gone now? Mrs. Nevin, none of this is what you think. I'm gonna look for her now. Let me know when you find her. Nog me! Nog me! Nog me! Nog me, where are you? Nog me, where are you? Nog me, Nog me, where are you? Nog me, Nog me, Nog me, Nog me, Nog me. Nagme, I'm here. Wake up. Nagme, wake up. Nagme? Nagme, can you hear me? Hatchter. I'm here. I'm here, darling. Here I am. I'm here. I'm here, sweetheart. Almost done. Soon she will be gone. Then only Edgder and I will be left. Everyone. All of this ranch. This city. They will see our love. Hatiz! Sister Sukran! Come and help! Hatiz! Sister Sukran! What's that? What happened to Mrs. Nagme, Mr. Eshdare? Oh, what happened, Mr. Eshdare? What happened to my sister? Oh. What happened to her? What happened, Eshdare? Hatiz, help she got me. soaked out in the rain. I'm going to get her some water with vinegar. Poor Let thing. me hold her. Will she be all right? What was she doing out in the rain at this time of night? Mother, it's not the time for that. All right. <sighs> come on, come on, let's take her inside. Nagme? What happened? What did you do to her? Don't you worry. She just got chilled. Come. Oh, no. Take her to the hotel. I'll look after her there. Come on. Nagme can't go in this condition. But, uh... uh... Mrs. Nevin, I don't want to argue with you. You can stay here. I'm not going to leave her side. I'm staying with her until the morning. As soon as she wakes up, we're both leaving. Ugh. Blah, 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 blah. Won't she ever shut up that big mouth, have a heart or something? How are we supposed to stand this woman uh, here all night? Let her stay for the night and go. Just let her take her daughter and leave. 
Ah, you trust me on this. This time it is over. So tomorrow, both Nagme and her mother will be out of here forever. I hope so. You all thought that Gazelle is naive, didn't you? And you think that I'm not aware of anything. But I know what's going on with all of these secret meetings, talking behind closed doors. Something is going on and I'll find out what it is. Shh. There must be something. I know that I'll figure this out eventually or my name is not Gazelle. Hey, Aunt Gazelle. What are you doing here? You shouldn't sneak up like that. You really scared me. What are you doing here? <clears throat> are you looking for something? Looking? No, I'm not. Uh, I just needed something. <sighs> I've been cold at night. The days are hot, but the nights are freezing. I packed away the quilt, so I'm looking for them, right? But why are you here in Besame's room, and why are you still awake? I came in here to sleep with Aunt Besame. <gasps> your mother's awake. She shouldn't see you or she'll get mad. Come on, go to your room. No, but I get really scared in the night. Oh, but you're a grown-up. Come on, let's I go. I don't care. I don't want to sleep alone. <sighs> Come on, to here, to your room. Come on. Come on, to your room now. But Aunt Gazelle, I don't want to go to my room. But my handsome boy, you're grown up and you're older now. There's nothing to be scared of. Come on. Gazelle, what is going on? The boy says that he can't sleep. He's been insisting on sleeping with Aunt Besame. Well, didn't I forbid you to do that? Didn't I tell you not to go into Aunt Besame's room? How many times have I told her not to let him? But does she listen? She is tempting the boy. Tahir? You go to your room! But mother, my Aunt Besame doesn't say anything and we sleep very well together. I said get in your own bed! That poor girl has suffered so much lately. I hope she gets well quickly. This house has not brought happiness to anyone, Alice. But we will be happy together, Besame. Have a good night. Besame. This is the last night we will be apart. <laughs> My love, my princess, my sweetheart, my darling. Are you okay? I sure. I'm not well. <sighs> You'll get well, sweetheart. Don't tire yourself. I am here. You may be here right now, but then where were you before? While your mother and your aunt were beating her up with their cruel words. You don't even let her go to work. My daughter is not happy here. Don't you see that? She is trying to be strong. How long could she hold out? Look what you have done. Mrs. Nevin, let us not talk about all this in here. She needs her rest. Do you think she doesn't know this? Hmm? On the contrary, it's for her own good to discuss it. Nagme needs to get her rest. Let her sleep in peace. If you really want, we can discuss it outside. That would be good. Ha! 
How is the girl? My girl's not fine. She's not fine at all. All thanks to you. All of you have made her sick as a dog. Just what are you saying? Why are you blaming us? Did we tell her to go out and get soaked in the pouring rain? Ah, uh -huh. if she got sick, it's her carelessness. She just wanted to get some air. You are suffocating her. You on one hand edged her on the other. And so now my son is guilty? Well, yes. She threw her future away for Edgeter. Mm -hmm. What if she went and got a good job? But you always keep her locked up. Be thankful you are our guest. And I am keeping silent. But if you continue to talk like this... Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. That's because you don't like hearing the truth. You look here! Mother! Mrs. Navin. Please stop. Enough arguing. Mrs. Navin is right. All this happened because of me. Did you see that? Your son is very well aware of his guilt. When Nog may as well, you will see she won't want to stay here. I have raised her to be free. She can't stand being limited. And she will never forgive you for what you have done. She can't stay anymore even if she wants to. She threw the ring right in my son's face. Oh, really? It was just in anger. If she threw the ring away, it's over. Both of you go separate ways. <sighs> what are you doing in here? I've come to look at you. And to say, stop messing with me. You stop egging Edger on against me. You leave here. This place is not for you. And haven't you taken the ring off anyway? Just leave me alone. You know I did it. I cut the belt. I guess that you were right. But you can't prove it. What good will that do? I will tell Edgeter. <laughs> As if you didn't try. But nobody believed you. Prove it if you dare. But I could have died. I wasn't trying to kill you. I just wanted you to be put off. I have no one but Edgeter in my entire life. He's my everything. And if you ever try to take him from me, you will pay the price badly. And if you don't leave here, if it is necessary, I'll kill you without blinking an eye. Do you understand? But Brother Kudret, why couldn't you have waited longer, man? You let your pride ruin all of this. And now you have forced me in a corner. Oh, hello. Brother Mehmet, how are you, brother? Oh, Smile. What's up in the middle of the night? Can't you sleep, brother? Yeah, well, you've got that right. I have to pay a lot of money to Kudret Soilo, and I don't know how to pay him. So I thought, uh... I could borrow from you and pay you back next week, huh? Samal, I think you've forgotten what happened in the past. Your credit is canceled. No money for you. Yeah, but, but th this time there will be no delay. You will have your money next week. Please believe me, I swear it. Well, okay, but I'll ask for double next week. You want double? Come on, isn't that a little too much, brother? Well, that's how it is now. You get the treatment that you deserve. Hmm, but... All right, brother. Okay, let it be as you say. 
that dirtbag. If I don't get even with you after all this, then no one will call me Samal. Mrs. Besame thinks that she'll turn Alice off me, and then she'll take him away. Does it occur to you he's your husband? Well, it's not going to be that easy, Besame. Hmm. And sadly, you don't have all the beauty that I have. My Alice, my husband, finally you came. Look at you. I look like a TV star, don't you think? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you laugh, Alice. <laughs> I dressed up for you to add some color in our life. Didn't I do well? No, you didn't, Gazelle. You have turned into a clown. Change your clothes now and never dress like this again. Alice, now you are sleeping in the bed with me, but your back is turned to me. So are you with Besame or what? Gazelle, just stop it. Go to sleep. Simal? What are you doing in the room all alone? What is wrong? Are you worrying? Leave me alone, Safika. Can I sit alone? Can I even just think for a second myself without being bothered? Just leave me, just go away now. But you are my husband. We have put our heads on the same pillow for years. How can I leave you alone when you are feeling like this, huh? What happened? Oh, won't you tell me if you are having a problem? Well, what can happen? It's your brother-in-law. So you mean Kudret? Yeah, I do mean Kudret. He has asked me for the rest of the money. Oh, really? I don't have any. The safe's empty. You could have asked for a little time. Look, what the hell? What the hell, Safika? What are you saying? The guy is on the rampage now. He's ready to kill us at the slightest pretext. Oh, what can I say? <sighs> and that Nagme is still not gone yet. What will happen even if she leaves? We could send Elvan away as well. <sighs> then we'd invite my brother-in-law to dinner. And he may be angry, but my brother-in-law is soft-hearted. He would forgive us. What are you talking about? He's as stubborn as a mule, I am telling you. You know my brother-in-law better than me? Kudret Soilu will not give us any girl, I can tell you that for sure. I'm saying my niece is tied to my apron strings is all. I will get inside her head. And will Kudret Soilu say no if the girl will tell him yes then? No, I think she will persuade her father somehow. Well, I think I better go to my brother-in-law's and see him in the morning. I will tell him what happened. Huh? Well, what do you say? Well, then go if you want. But I do not think it will do any good. Oh, well, I've got to try. And I will go there early. Look, Safika, what will we say to my poor mother? If she finds out that I still have debt remaining, huh? She takes Esther's side, she will turn her back on me completely. I have found a way to get money, and we are almost out of the woods. Do you see what's going on? Ah. Oh. Okay, okay. We can't worry about that. I will make up a story to tell her. Nagme? Nagme, are you okay? 
Oh, she's going to kill she me. She was fine a few minutes ago. What happened? Her fever's Nogme. gone up. It's a seizure. Nogme. 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 Mrs. Nogme has a bad cold. Apart from this, I don't think it's very serious. Nevertheless, I'll get some blood work done, and that way we can make sure she's fine. We'll have the results tomorrow. We will talk again when we have the results. Thank you so much. Uh, by the way, only one person can stay in the room with her. I'll have to ask you to leave, please. She needs rest now. I will stay with Nagme. You go rest. You're tired. I will stay with my daughter. You can go. I won't leave my wife like this. I have learned that I cannot entrust my daughter to you. Hashtag. My love. <laughs> Mrs. Navin, listen. Nagme wants me to stay with her. So please, let me stay tonight. Good morning. Good morning. You're fine. You scared me. You scared me very much. You've no idea how afraid it made me feel when you had that fever. Will you please forgive me? I did never dream of breaking up with you. It just escaped my lips for a second while I was angry and I hurt you. And I know that I broke your heart. Get angry at me, shout, yell, get angry at me. And I won't even say a single word. sweetheart wear this ring again giving up easily is beneath our love Ashtar I have to think for a little while maybe we should listen to ourselves for a while I better just go to Istanbul with my mother knock me my girl, are you okay? I'm fine, Mother, don't worry. I couldn't sleep all night thinking of you. I wanted to sit up with you, but the doctor said only one could stay. This place is not for you. This marriage is not making you happy. You must have known this as well. I won't make any plans for your career. No more insisting from now on. If you don't want to go to Paris, don't go. Let's go to Istanbul, huh? You will find the opportunities you want anyway. Nagme. You won't go, will you? You will go, my daughter. Mrs. Nagme, your results are ready, and you are very healthy. I don't see any problems. Then we can leave the hospital now, is that what you're saying? We need to go to Istanbul. Sure, you may leave any time you want, but I am not finished with the results. Do you have a child? No, I don't. Then I have good news for you. You are pregnant.
She she's pregnant? She is. <sighs> That's all we need. Are you really uh, sure? Well, these tests have never misled us so far. <sighs> Congratulations. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. My love. I'll be a father. And you'll be a mother. We're going to have a baby. We're a family. I am so happy. I love you so much. Very much. <laughs> So then Mrs. Nagme's sick, did I hear that right? Istanbul girl, what do you expect? She's a weakling. She fell ill after she got a little cold. And her mother settled in the house. She looked for a chance. She'll even tell us to make a room for her. <laughs> she chewed my son out with all her nagging all the time. And now, her daughter's unhappy, and she'll take her daughter and leave. But Nagme will not leave Ejder just because her mother says. No, no, this time's different. They argued stronger than ever before. That girl isn't a good match. Ejder can't see it, though, yet. He is blind. Doesn't he get it at all? We don't need to worry. It's over now. That woman won't bring her daughter to this house again. Alice, let's get going. Come on now. Uh, brother, I have something. I'll do it and come. You go. You have something? I decide what needs to be done. And I don't remember giving you something. Come on, Alice. I said we are going now. Brother, I'm not coming. You go and I'll see you there, okay? Alice? I guess you forgot who you were talking to, huh? I have had enough with Ishtar already, and now there is you? I'm not coming. That's enough. What's wrong with you? What's going on? You woke up on the wrong side of the bed. You go to the company, son. And when has Alice ever broken his word? He will be there shortly. Go on. I can't believe this. And you show some respect to your brother, son. You be nice, huh? Well, enjoy your breakfast. Please excuse me. Where did Safika say she was going? Well, there's a friend of hers that's called Songul or Birgul or something like that. She said she was going to visit her. Well, God give her health. Thanks, Ukran. I arranged a place for us. I had a small savings, and I withdrew it from the bank. It's not much, but will be enough for a few months. We also have all of the gold items given at our wedding, but Mother Barricade has them all. Forget about them now, Besame. We must avoid suspicion. I will find a job when we go. We will have a little trouble, but we will be together soon. Mm -hmm. Besame, look. <laughs> You have suffered for years. But I haven't lived a different life from you in this house. It'll all be over soon. We will make up for all the years. <laughs> Here, Safika. Now listen, I'm not a con artist like your husband, and it's still early. I have a lot to do, so tell me why you've come. Honestly, whatever you say, Uncle. 
I am embarrassed before you now. Well, of course you are. How could you not be? Oh my goodness, so much impudence. Do you think we wanted it like this? But let me tell you right now, the girl is going to leave. Which girl's that? Which girl could it be, uncle? The musician from Istanbul. So? Well, what about the other one? Wasn't there a second wife too? Oh, oh she is not even worth mentioning. She's here today and gone tomorrow. God, give me patience. This is the first time such a thing is heard in Bursa. Do you really think uh, this is their own hometown? Eshter is young. He acted stupidly. Well, I can tell you that a foolish head can make so many weary feet, Safika. Look, it's early. You have come here and you're waiting hand and foot on me. Well, you are so right, uncle. But be sure that that job is done. You're joking. We will redeem ourselves for you and also for my niece as well. Oh, really? Safika, are you kidding me now? You came here at the crack of dawn to tell me all this? Well... What? About our debt, Uncle, I need to ask you... Whoa! Oh, hang on there, Safika. When I talk about business or a debt, the relationship's not important. You go tell your lazy husband that he will pay me back my money, and he will pay me back in full. Just let him give me my money. I don't want anything else. Ah, but wait, look, I need to tell you, Safika, I'm a kind person. Stop thinking I'm evil. You say uncle will take care of Istanbul girl. We also get rid of the second wife. Sebnem will be appeased as well. We will do what you want. Ah, next thing that you know, Angel Coudret opens his wallet again, and that's why you came here, huh? Come on, don't you worry about that, Uncle. You just consider it done. What do you mean that you will have this baby? Are you crazy now? You have only been married for a few months. There's not a day that goes by you don't fight. His mother-in-law, his sister's husband, his second wife. I will never let you give birth to this baby. There's no way. Should I get an abortion then? Do you have an option? 